Welcome in everybody to the LEGO News Recap for today, January 31st, 2023. We have a number of brand new sets to take a look at. Uh, now, since I didn't do one last week, we'll, we'll catch up on uh, a few Star Wars reveals, uh, along with some new Disney reveals, Brickheads, and more. So stay tuned for that. We also have a new um, selection of sets that have made it into the 10,000 Supporters Club for the LEGO Ideas program. And a few other bits and pieces of news. But I think, uh, I think because there's so much to cover, we're going to dive right in. So let's go take a look. We're going to start this off with the new helmets that have been revealed. These were revealed last week. We have three new Star Wars helmets to add to the ever-growing collection, including the Captain Rex Commander Cody and uh, the Boosh helmet. And you can see... The Captain Rex here is looking absolutely fantastic. The details they've managed to uh, continue to put into these sets, just, they're they are mind-boggling. They're so good. They're great. Um, I like the fact that they've still managed to keep the Lego look to it by, you know, retaining the studs on top sort of look. However, they've really captured the shape very, very well of that, uh, of, of Rex's helmet here. Uh, a little further down, you can see Cody here. And he's got both the visor and the antenna. And uh, again, the fin and everything. Just a, an amazing job capturing all the details. Even the shape of the uh, like the, the, the eye slits there is just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But arguably my favorite of the three is going to be the Boosh helmet. So this is, of course, Princess Leia as Boosh when she goes to uh, goes to meet Jabba. And just the the coloring the you know the positioning of it all it, it's absolutely spectacular this one will definitely be on a uh, on my want list i think really looking forward to seeing this one come out and trying to get my hands on one of them all three of them will be retailing for uh 69.99 us or 89.99 canadian and uh, the release date should be um uh, march i believe it's march 1st i believe it's the release date for all three get the confirmation here yeah march 1st there it is. There it is. Now, there was rumors that Boosh may have been revealed earlier than it was supposed to be, and it was going to be pushed until May, but I believe LEGO has gone back and said, okay, no, we'll just release it with March with the other ones. Um, so I'll double check on that one, though. Next up that's been revealed are the new Harry Potter Dots sets. So, Dots as a series may be dying at the end of this year, but they're not done uh, putting out new sets yet. We have three new Harry Potter sets that will be coming out in March, uh, including the accessory pack, which comes with uh, a bracelet, a sew-on patch, um, little bag tags or keychains, and uh, a variety of, of course, dots. In um, got the Harry Potter colors in there. You got the blue, the yellow, the red, and the green in there, so you can sort of dress them up to your house colors. You also get a number of specialized printed pieces, which I really like the new printed tiles. Uh, it looks like in the accessory pack, you've got a few of the spells, you've got a few of the uh, the students, um, and just cute little face sort of tile looks. I, I, I like the look of them. And this one's only going to be $14.99, so it'll be easy to, uh, to get a couple of these if you want to stock up on a few of those tiles for use elsewhere. Next up, you've got the Hedwig pencil holder coming in at $17.99. Um, and this one is definitely... 17 pounds? This one's dollars. This one's pounds. Hmm. I'll have to double check on that one's price. Anyway, this one you, of course, get to build a little Hedwig pencil holder. Um, doesn't seem to have much in the way of customized tiles like the other one did, but uh, you do get a lot of great colors. Again, with the dark reds, the, the yellow or oranges. Um, I don't think you get very much green in this one, but you do get a lot of blue as well. So dress it up, put your favorite picture in the little frame and uh, store all your pencils in, in Hedwig's head? Sure, yeah, that's fine. Uh, finally, the last one that was released is the Hogwarts Desktop Kit, where you can have, what is it, four, five? Five different desktop sort of items, so you can just fully dress up your, you know, your computer desk with everything Harry Potter. It'd be perfect. Uh, whether it be picture frames, whether it be pencil holders, notebook stands, um, little, you know, your little bits drawers for your paper clips and such. Um, and a little keepsake box as well. This one also has a number of printed tiles, custom printed tiles, including things such as the um, the professors and uh, a few other interesting little 
uh, bits and pieces. Something that'll be worth looking forward to uh, to seeing all 16 tiles. I believe there's 16 different tiles you can get in the box. So I'm excited to see more from this one anyway. Next up, and I know there's going to be a lot of people excited for these ones. They are bringing back Wally. Sort of. Kind of. Okay, he's a little smaller. A little smaller than he used to be. But a lot cheaper than getting the uh, the large one too. Uh, so Brickheads is coming out with three new Disney uh, two packs, pairs, if you will. You've got Wally and Eve. Uh, these will all be coming out, I believe it's March. Yes, March. And because these are both smaller than a regular Brickhead sort of character, this pack is coming in at $14.99. I think it's $19.99 Canadian, which is, you know, a little easier, like even easier. Not that, not that Brickheads are ever expensive. This one's even easier to, uh, you know, to justify picking this one up for sure. Even though it is only 155 pieces. I mean, well, he's not a big guy. He's a little. He's just a little dude. Just a little dude. But adorable. Absolutely adorable. Love the look of these two. The next two on the list are uh, Cruella and Maleficent. I mean, at $19.99, the standard two-pack price. But of course, they are also the standard, you know, brickhead sort of build as they both come in as regular characters. Uh, I love the look of these two. Absolutely fantastic villains. Uh, they've really captured the horns from Maleficent and the, uh, the sort of a dual personality look that uh, Cruella always seemed to have. The white and the black, the red gloves and everything. Absolutely great looking villains. And finally, we have uh, Moana and Merida, which again, they've just captured the details spectacularly, which they never cease to impress, I gotta say. I was never a huge fan of Brickheads, but they have done... Magic. It's magic how they've managed to really capture it. Like you can look at these square bricks and realize immediately who that's that's supposed to be. With the, the Moana and Merida here, Corella and um, Maleficent, and of course Wally and Eve, which are arguably the easiest ones since Wally has his name plastered across his front. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you can look forward to all three of these coming out March 1st. And again, $19.99 per two pack, with the exception of the little robots at $14.99 instead. Uh, continuing on with new reveals, we've got two new poly bags that have been revealed. We have the Lego City and Creator poly bags that have uh, that have shown up here. So we do have the little little race car. Um, does it have a name here? We've got the chicks, the two tiny chicks, and uh, the little city car here. I mean, they're neat little bags, neat, neat little builds. Pretty simple. Pieces could be useful elsewhere there. You know, those giant eyeballs, I can see creating a lot of different things. You know, create your own Wally with more expressive eyes, maybe. I, I don't know. Look, I got nothing. Anyway, these are due out sometime this year. There's no release date on them yet. I know a number of poly bags have been sort of creeping into stores. Walmarts and Toys R Us, you might be able to find some of the new 2023 sets there if you keep an eye out. Um, these will probably show up soon enough. Another new reveal is the new LEGO Classic Creative Fantasy Universe officially revealed. And we can get a bit of a better picture of the box here. Not great, but um, very interesting color palette they've got here with the greens, the purples, the uh, magentas, yellows, the light grays, no black. There's brown, brown is good. Brown's useful for sure. You gotta have your, you know, your pirate boats and things. I feel like it's missing some of the sort of more castle-y colors, but um, definitely some interesting ideas here. You can have a sea serpent, you know, you can build your little three brick knights, which are kind of cute. <laughs> Love the eyes on them, I gotta say. Little buggy eyes. Um, a very weird looking dragon, but that's fine. That's 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 a thing. It, it is what it is. I do kind of like this sort of orc pirate ship that's coming in here, and maybe that's a skeleton in the back there. I, I don't know. Anyway, some very interesting pieces and piece choices that they've included in this creative box, uh, which again will be coming out later this year. I believe it's due out in March as well. Uh, I will check the date as soon as we're done. This last picture, which is the little wizard. Look, that that's totally Magisto. Except, where's this glow-in-the-dark wand? Come on. Could have at least brought back the glow-in-the-dark wand, right? Right? I still don't know what this flying thing is, but that's fine. I don't think I meant to know. That's totally fine. Uh, so the price is unknown yet. It is 1800 pieces. So there are a lot of great pieces in the, uh, in the set, even if you're just looking for a parts pack. Um, 
and it does look like it'll be launching March 1st. So keep an eye out for that one if you're looking to expand uh, any of this color range here. It's a very unique color range, I gotta say. Next up, we have a new gift with purchase that should be coming out sometime in the future. There's no uh, dates or price points or anything like that out yet, but I'm actually really looking forward to this one, the Lego Architecture World of Wonders. So you're getting four little nano architecture builds, uh, all of course nicely labeled, which with what I'm hoping is a printed tile, so it might be a sticker, we'll have to see. Uh, but you do get the four wonders of the world, the Pantheon, the Great Wall of China, uh, al Khazni and Petra, and the Taj Mahal, all in microscale form or nanoscale form. Um, it could be released as early as February, but again, there's no um, no official news on that yet. So stay tuned. Once we find out, we'll share. Now, moving on to the rumors. I mean, this isn't quite a rumor, but it does look like the official logo for Dreams has now been um, has now been patented and revealed. So there is a new Lego theme coming out sometime this year. Um, we've heard that there's 10 potential sets that should be coming out for this Dreams series. And this looks to be its logo. This is gonna be its logo for the, uh, the series. There's really no telling what the theme is going to be about. Um, with the theme Dreams, I'm thinking, like it literally opens it up to anything. Right, it could be absolutely anything. If it goes along with a TV show or something, maybe it'll be, you know, some characters will go to sleep and they'll have different adventures and different dreams. I don't know. I have no idea. Really, no idea. But I'm excited to see what uh, what they come out with, because uh, again, there are a number of sets that are linked to the series so far. So we'll just have to, uh, you know, be patient. We'll come out eventually. We'll get to see all the new, all the new dream sets. I'm excited. But not as excited as I am for this. A brand new LEGO Ninjago City expansion is finally coming out. It's been a while since the Ninjago City Gardens was released. And it is time to add to that. So, of course, the first one out was Ninjago City. You can see here on the left. Uh, then you have the Ninjago City docks in the middle. And then the gardens is the third one, which is still available. Still on shelves. Hasn't retired yet. But it does look like this year we will see our fourth uh, piece to the incredible city ninjago city sort of series uh, it's said to be coming in at a towering 6163 pieces making it the largest ninjago set to ever be released the price point currently is listed as 369.99 us which is an amazing price for that many pieces especially when we know that these sets come with just hordes of minifigures it was what 20 odd 20 plus or something like that in the gardens absolutely amazing i am very excited to see these ones again just the detail they put in these is amazing the fact that they all sort of connect together really nicely lets you build this ninjago city uh you can you know put it into your own city as its own sort of subsector of the city or whatever there, there's so much you can do with these just and they look incredible absolutely fantastic so aside from a piece count and a potential dollar value uh, we're not entirely sure as to when it's coming out. I don't think that's been listed, but it's sometime in 2023. And um, probably one of the things I'm most excited for that I've heard about so far. Although that green gods. No, I don't know. More rumors for the future. We know, of course, that Sonic will be released later this year as well. It does look like there's the potential for some Sonic brickheads to go along with those new Sonic sets. Now, the Sonic sets we talked about a little bit in the past, and they are supposed to be more of a interactive set where there will be like a speedball and a shooter, and you can actually, you know, send your minifigures flying through some kind of course. Um, but it looks like now we may be getting some brickheads to go along with the Sonic's, uh, Sonic sets that'll have some of the, the main characters, Sonic, Tails, Shadow, Eggman, something somewhere along those lines. Uh, so if you're a brickhead fan, you can look forward to some new Sonic brickheads. Now, moving on to a little bit of potentially sad news, depending depending on whether you play it or not. The LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed is retiring next month. Um, for those that have played it, um, this might be bad news. So, currently it was available on uh, Google Play, App Store, Windows, uh, Samsung Galaxy Store, Amazon App Store, and Hawaii App Gallery. 
However, it will continue to be maintained on Facebook Cloud Gaming until the end of 2023. Uh, all the other ones, it's gone at the end of February. You know, one more month to uh, to play it, and then I guess they are discontinuing the um, the servers running it and everything, unfortunately. I played this game when it first came out. It was a load of fun. You should just play on my phone. Uh, you got to collect all kinds of different you know, minifigures, and you sort of battled them RPG style. Um, it was great. It was great. Unlocking new characters, you know, continuing on with a, you know, a ridiculous Lego story. It was a lot of fun. So I'm kind of sad to see that it will, uh, uh, it will be disappearing, but it's the way of these apps, unfortunately, these days. It's not like buying an old cartridge and being able to keep it and play it forever, which kind of sucks, you know, kind of sucks. But, uh, so yeah, get your gaming in before it's gone. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to play it yet, at least you can play it on Facebook uh, Cloud Gaming until the end of the year. So you've got a bit more time if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to give it a shot. Now, the last few things I've got here are the new sets to reach 10,000 supporters in the LEGO Ideas program. The first being this beautiful LED lamp uh, by Castro Troy. It's the latest part. Well, it's one of the latest projects to achieve 10,000 supporters. Uh, of course, inspired by modern and art deco lamps. Um, and actually uses, it does look like there's a battery in the base, which makes the powered up lights work with uh, using four LEDs. So if it's using actual like Lego powered up um, batteries and uh, wiring and everything, I absolutely adore this set. I love it. And I would love to see this come to fruition, but I have a feeling like I was not going to go for it. They don't seem to, uh, I don't think they're going to take kindly to, to an actual lamp I, I feel like it's not going to work as a lamp it'll work as like a nice light piece but not really a lamp if they're using lego leds things aren't the brightest you know but I, I would love to see if this actually made into a set or something akin to it but we'll see time will tell i don't think it stands too much of a chance so next up we have the lego ideas brooklyn 99 99th precinct has also achieved 10 thousand supporters again and i mean we've seen TV shows and sitcoms and things of the past just, you know, killing it on Lego ideas. You've got, you know, Big Bang Theory and Seinfeld and The Office, you know, and so and so forth. Friends, um, they're, they're obviously a hit. Lego should just make a line of them rather than, you know, making fans have to submit all of these ideas that obviously they want. Whether this one makes it through or not, again, I don't know. It is still very comedic, but... I mean, it fits along the same lines as The Office, I feel. I feel like it would work. I just don't know if they're going to go through with another, yet another one. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, third up, we've got another LEGO Idea Shrek Swamp. Shrek, 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 Shrek Swamp. Yes, one of those. Uh... This one came just uh, weeks after the uh, the original Shrek Shrek Swamp was submitted and hit 10,000 supporters in I want to say three days. Uh, this one quickly followed suit. Uh, I kind of like the look of this one a little bit better. It's you know more reminiscent of his sort of mud hut, but it still feels lacking. And the uh, yeah the minifigure choice in the uh, the image up here is not fantastic. It's not the best. It could be better for sure. Um, Apparently the fans want Shrek, so let's uh, let's see a Shrek set come on out. Uh, there's so much potential they could do with it if they did, though. Just think about it. Think about all the characters you could have. It'd be fantastic. Time will tell, though. We'll see on that one. And the last set to reach 10,000 supporters, and the final bit of the news is the Lego Ideas of Bricks Coffee uh, has achieved 10,000 supporters. And this, of course, is... Another modular style building. Like, this is what I ha feel half this, the idea sets are. Modular buildings and, like, sitcom-esque shows. That's what it feels like. Every other one that comes through is one of those two. Anyway, they've done a really good job with this one. I, I do I do like it. They've done, um, like, it looks beautiful. But because it's a modular building, LEGO already has, like, a line to do modulars. I don't see them releasing one as an idea set. If it was a separate building, a separate coffee shop, maybe I, it would have a better chance. But because it was designed with the modular sort of aspect in mind, I don't think it's going to. But we'll see. And if it doesn't, maybe you'll be able to find the instructions online, build it yourself. Because again, it, it does look beautiful and would look fantastic in, uh, in an ever-growing city. 
That's about all I've got for the Lego news today. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me and tuning on in. If you want to, uh, if you want to catch me live or, you know, give your opinions as we're discussing the news in the first place, make sure to join me over on twitch.tv slash the local brick shop. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. And Wednesdays from 8 p.m. till midnight when we do weekly giveaways, guaranteed weekly Lego giveaways every Wednesday night. So you don't want to miss that. Twitch.tv slash the local brick shop. You can also find me on all my other socials down below in the, you know, in the doobly doo down there. Uh, and if you like what you see, I'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe to, uh, to the channel here as um, I will continue to put out more news recaps. So if you can't join me live, you can at least catch them here. So thanks again, everyone, for joining me. And until next time, happy building. Take care. <laughs>